Hey guys, Jay here, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at two pieces of software, Photolab 5 and Filmpack 6, both from a company called DxO. Disclaimer, DxO reached out to me, asking me if I wanted to try out the new versions of these softwares, and I said, yeah, sure. And uh, they sent it to me free of charge. I didn't pay a cent. But everything I say in this video is gonna be my honest opinions, there's not gonna be any bias, and they're not gonna be able to see this video any earlier than you guys, so rest assured. Oh, and one more thing, if you like the sound of this product, definitely go to DxO's website and give it a trial today. And if you end up wanting to buy it, they've got a sale going on right now. What you can do is go to my description box, click on my affiliate link so that I get a little bit of a kickback whenever you make a purchase. So with that out of the way, let's actually begin this video. So to keep this review as concise as possible, I will be mainly focusing on the features of the software that stand out to me. And keep in mind, this is my first time using this software, so opinions are based upon brand new user aspect. Much like any other photo editing software, most of the interface and editing tools are more or less the same. But after having used it for a few weeks, I feel like there are some pretty unique features that could be game changing for workflow. But of course, there are some things I find a bit lacking too. So let's take a look at Photolab 5. The overall interface is quite friendly, and from my past experience with Lightroom and Capture One, it didn't take me very long to get accustomed to where everything is in Photolab. One aspect I really love about Photolab is the ability to locate and edit images without having to select an import option. You can simply use the file directory to locate your images and either move them into a project or edit directly from the original folder. The editing data for every individual photo is saved as a DOP file within the folder the image is located in. So it's really easy to find and is less destructive as compared to having all the editing data stored in say one big catalog file. Another notable feature I found pretty impressive is the ability to assign and organize keywords in a hierarchical manner to your images. Simply add as many keywords as you wish and group them in terms of specificity. Assign them to your images and when come time to search for specific photos, you can search for one or many keywords to quickly access specific photos with ease. In terms of editing, DxO has introduced compatibility with Fujifilm cameras and lenses in Photolab 5. Of course, this also includes film simulations too, with a caveat. You don't get all the simulations, only a select few common color simulations. It is also worth noting that you won't have access to these film simulations in Photolab 5 unless you have Film Pack 6. So that's kind of a bummer too. DxO has made the editing process really simple. In preferences, you can choose to import all your raw files with presets pre-applied or have them exposure and or distortion corrected automatically. This saves a lot of time and allows you to get straight into the meat of the editing. Bear in mind, when using Photolab for the first time, anytime the software detects a new camera or lens, a pop-up will ask to install a module pertaining to those items. It is advised to let DxO install these modules as it allows the software to digitally correct any optical imperfections unique to that camera and lens. Some really powerful and efficient tools for managing exposure that I thoroughly enjoyed using were the Clearview Plus and Smart Lighting. Using DxO's proprietary smart algorithms, Clearview Plus is able to remove much of the haze from photos and Smart Lighting will do a fantastic job at correcting over or underexposed images. Of course, you won't always want to rely on these tools completely, so you have the option to manually tweak the intensity of these settings with ease. In my opinion, one of the most game-changing tools in Photolab 5 is to do with denoising. DxO's Deep Prime Denoiser is able to take your high ISO photos with all its digital gain and artifacts and make it all magically disappear. You can see this effect working in this photo I took in very low light and the results literally blew me away. The final tool that I found quite useful is the viewpoint technology within local adjustments. It's essentially like the radius and gradient masking tools in other softwares, but somehow the way viewpoint works is it adjusts values while taking into consideration the other viewpoint masks as well. 
giving you a more realistic and balanced looking image. Now, I'm not a technical person, so it's hard for me to explain, but from what I've experienced, it works without a hitch. Combining the above features together, you can get a seriously solid result from your RAW files, and all it takes is a few simple button presses, saving you tons of time. Next, let's explore the Film Pack 6 Elite software. If I was to describe this software, it would be a simplified version of Photolab 5. If you are somebody who doesn't enjoy the finer aspects of photo editing and just wish to simply apply a good looking preset to your image and possibly make some basic adjustments, I think Film Pack is the ultimate software for you. I was honestly blown away at all the presets this software provided. Tons of presets designed to replicate the look of old film stocks and styles that reflect past great photographers have been faithfully recreated. You can even explore and learn about the history of photography through a feature called Time Machine. Super educational and needless to say, I spent a huge portion of time playing around with this feature. Now, I did mention previously that you don't get all the Fujifilm film simulations such as classic negative or nostalgic negative, but I think Film Pack totally makes up for it by offering you heaps more other old Fujifilm color and black and white film stocks that arguably will make your photos look more film-like than your film simulations do. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of the features that I found really cool in DxO's Photolab 5 and Film Pack 6. Now, this software is ideal for people who don't really want to fuss around with doing the small, tedious parts of photo editing and just want to get into the meat of it and have the software handle the rest. And it's also good for people who want to play around with realistic looking film presets, pretty much. So. If you're either of those two people, definitely take a look at DxO's software. You won't be disappointed. And currently, they got a deal going on where you can get the Photolab 5 and Film Pack 6 together as a bundle with a discount code applied, and it will come to a total of around $250. Now, that is a fantastic deal to get started. So, my name is Jay, and until next time. Okay, so let's edit a photo from start to finish in real time and see just how fast DxO is in terms of editing and convenience. So first off, let's get rid of the vignetting. Next, let's go ahead and adjust the distortion, correct the distortion horizon level a little bit too much. Let's move it back, crop in so that you get rid of the black borders. Now let's add the clear view plus. Looks pretty good. Smart lighting. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Add some contrast there. Add some punch. That's nice. Let's give let's get some color rendering in there. It looks nice, but I can play around a bit. Color positive film. Ooh, Astia looks nice. Let's let's give it Velvia for more punch. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Okay, maybe maybe too much clear view. Let's decrease that a little bit. Let's go ahead and add some highlight. Add some mid-tone. Add some shadow, just a touch, and crush the blacks just a little bit. Cool. Cool. And oh, there's a red spot there. There's a hot spot. Let's use the repair tool. And let's delete that. Beautiful. And let's use the deep prime. To get rid of any noise in the unwanted noise or artifacts are gone beautiful and look at that that's the final image let's compare it with the original so this is before and this is after oh thanks for watching guys